What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock and I'll also take you over QQ and SPY in this video. So the tug of war is going on in Nvidia between bulls and the bears. So what do I mean by that? So we have a indecisiveness going on right now as of well today and yesterday was a bit of a glimpse of that but yes intraday we were we were still bearish i'll talk about this in this video as well if you are still bearish on intraday and on swing how we are looking like right so before going further i also want to let you know that none of this is any financial advice this is only for education purposes now 824 dollars level we tested yesterday and this is what i have been saying that if on swing we want to be fully bearish got a break below that if bulls wants to hold this is their last chance around it again to rotate it back to the upside however at the same time we are below 20 and 50 days moving average and on intraday if i take you to the hourly interval on intraday we broke the structure at the uh, 859 that we were already in higher highs higher lows and we formed the double top and we formed this we break broke the neckline and we formed this intraday lower highs lower lows and well now here's the thing today nvidia is on intraday trying to form bullishness on daily it is below 20 and 50 days moving average, but above 824, which is the mark of the swing pivot pivot loss. But then on intraday today, it's trying to maintain that pivot right as, as from yesterday higher low. So we are not having a confirmation. All the 80% of the variables are not in one direction right now. 50% variables are in bull side, 50% variables are in bear side. And that is what is indecisiveness right now. So this is the tug of war going on right now. Now, what I have been saying is, if Nvidia wants to turn, again, go to the upside, it needs to break above this $859 range. It tested that today as well. You can see almost we got very close. And also we are between 20, uh, sorry 20 and 50 hours moving average and 200 hours moving average right it's trying to find the support at 200 hours moving average if you can avoid trading between 839 and 859 that's the best bet the direction will come on either side if we break if we close the day below today 838 or 200 hours moving average nvidia is still on the bear side then intraday on swing we still needs to lose 824 but it will shift more in the bears camp at least by 60 percent right total 60 to 65 percent but if bulls wants again we want to be bullish on nvidia well first of all yes it has to close above 200 hours moving average but strength would come if it if it eventually goes above 859 at least in current price action I'll talk about later as well once the market has closed about Nvidia, but this is the price action right now. It's tug of war, indecisiveness. It's either side game right now because few things are bearish, few things are bullish, but that full directional confirmation, you have to wait for the levels confirmation that I just provided you here. Uh, 200 hours moving average to the break below to the downside, but if a, we get above 50 at this point and which is very close to 859 it may start to look fully again back to bullish but intraday only right now like nvidia holding swing is very difficult right now it's just being choppy and is still in that distribution phase zone so i would say trade it only as intraday nvidia all right so that's for right now the morning update uh, on nvidia Losing 824 is what will really mark like a lot more downside, but we'll see when, if that happens. As per the scenarios I talked to you guys. So as scenarios develop, we will have more directional bias based off of that with the price action. All right, I wanna take you over QQ and SPY real quick. So regarding QQ, I talked about in my yesterday video that if bulls wants to hold the pivot on the swing side, this 421 is the last 
area they can rotate up here is this rotation strong enough we'll take a look at on intraday in just a second as for the rebound on the swing side that we were talking about that was at the blue box right and we rejected over there and we have been falling since then now is this pivot holding strong 421 let's go to the hourly interval and just by looking at it um yeah right now no i would like to wait and see if it if today qqq closes above 424 and gets above 424 and 25 sure you can say all right this thing has room to go up otherwise no this this no well this, this is a good buying happening happened here uh, we'll see it all comes down to if it can cross above 425 today or not spy let's take a look at spy let's go to the daily interval first similarly spy i talked about as if we lose this is just a rebound in the downtrend and then if bulls wants to hold they've got to rotate it above 497 dollars right but we did reject at 507 and below that was the flush place now is it the bullish on daily no i'm not seeing that is this can are bulls looking strong here can can they push it higher is the structure changing on intraday as well not quite yet not quite yet for that on intraday to change i wanted to see i want to see it close above 503 today if it can do that sure if it can't then no all right well yeah that's that guys uh looks like nvidia is a little bit yeah getting bought back up but it's not out of the woods yet fully it's still tug of war going on it's indecisive choppy wait for that direction um, I'll do other videos on, you know, the AMD arm and all of those later as well. But just to really quickly show you what AMD is doing. Uh, yep, continue to fall just as I, how I have been saying. Arm is again a little bit consolidating today, but change of structure is not there. I'll talk more in detail. I do these some of them weekend as well, uh, right? Uh, Broadcom is looking weak. It has again. I'm not seeing any structural change to the upside. It can continue to fall. SMCI, yep, still falling, still falling. Um, yeah, pullbacks, rebounds are being shorted, as I said, right? Micron, and Micron is also selling off. Um, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, and I don't, yeah, guys, Micron, I'm at this point, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, this, if, if it has to hold 50 days, it will hold, otherwise, no. SOXS. Uh, that's the one that I talked about, right? That inverse play on semiconductor I'm playing. Um, so yeah, still in the position. Um, as you know, I like to take partial profits out. So, uh, but yeah, still in the position on it. Um, uh, this is the inverse of um, semiconductor. So I opened it just because semiconductors, I'm playing a short on semiconductor. So I'm buying this because it's an inverse. It's a leverage play. So you have to be careful. And on leverage plays, technicals don't work like like that as how they work on regular stocks uh, because these are leverage plays, right? So yeah, they are, they are derivatives. So you have to pick the bias and sentiment from the individual stocks rather than picking the technicals on it fully. But it still helps as for your stop losses and management, the areas you got to be watching, right? Okie dokie. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll be doing Tesla video as well later today. Um, important stuff about that as well. But this is it for this one. If you need access to my tools as well that you see in the videos, links to my tools are in the description below. And with that, I'll see my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.